Hi everyone, welcome back and uh, thank you for joining me. Um, today um, I am going to show off, hopefully, um, just a couple of uh, some of my favorite silver bits at the moment because I haven't really been able to uh, do a heck of a lot at the moment. Um, cause at the moment I'm trying to do my own pouring as you know, um, and I'm also, um, making, uh, various pens and, uh, so forth to help with the, um, kind of funding. That was the very first pour I've ever done and, you know, stamping. Um, but yeah, so. Currently, just before I jump in, a little plug here. Here, actually, forget it about that. This is one of the most recent pens that I've uh, I've made, uh, and it's uh, a dyed um, dyed bit of uh, wood. Uh, very easily, it just uh, twists, nice and gentle. And you get these lovely kind of tiger marks. And it's been uh, sanded down all the way down to about, uh, well, not about. It's been sanded down to a thousand uh, grit. And it's uh, a very good size. But this is one that's up on the, the silver form at the moment. Um, and what will soon be following, uh, which I have only just finished, is... The man pen, a giant 50 caliber, previously fired with a uh, Paduke wood, and yeah, it's, it's just one of those, you can't really get into the picture no matter what you do. So, right, let's uh, go on. This has been sitting here for ages now, to give you an idea of how long um, I've uh, been wanting to show it off for. Uh, I got it from the Bradford Exchange. So, pop it out. And I'm sure you've all seen this by now. It's the uh, five pound it's the two ounce um, line from the Queen's V series. It's uh, four nines, uh, produced by Jody Clark, as you can see at the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's just stunning. It's, uh, it's one of my most, uh, uh, yeah, I would say it's, 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 it is my favorite designs that they've done. Um, and, uh, I've been meaning to collect them, but I've been buying an awful lot of bullion at the moment to kind of fund my pouring habit. So, uh, this is the only one I have at the moment of the series. I really need to catch up before premium skyrocket. Uh, but I, I just think it's just lovely. Um, so that's that one. Set her down somewhere where it could be seen. And as I said, I've had all these sitting in my, uh, just waiting to kind of do reviews and I just haven't done them. So I'm going to kind of fly by them. Um, the Australian Kookaburra. Which is my 2016 that I've had. Um, and I've just kind of wanted to show it off because it was sat in my safe for ages and I pulled this out deliberately, uh, wanting to show everyone along with the Australian Koala again, that 2016, um, both of these, I believe have face value of $1. Yep. And, um, Yeah, they're absolutely stunning. Let's 
So, right, so the final bits, which are gonna appeal to hopefully a couple of other people. Um, I have some very unique and very special uh, woods, and I'll, I've labeled it up deliberately uh, at the time. USS NC, North Carolina. So, and I'm trying not to get everything completely filthy. Uh, but how do I know it's genuine? Well, I've had these in my workshop for God knows how long. And I'm not bothered if there's memes on here. Um, but I wonder if you can see this here. I got two of these here. Person I bought it uh, from at the time. So this is, yeah, almost, uh, it's over eight years ago, uh, eight and a half plus years ago. And it's uh, a verification letter from uh, the battleship North Carolina. There's the watermark and everything else. It goes on and on and on. Uh, and I have exactly two copies and I have exactly two pieces of wood. Uh, from that, and it was from, let's just see here if I read it out really quickly, because I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, this letter is a verification that the piece of teak we are selling you is part of the original teak deck uh, of the battleship North Carolina. It was removed as part of uh, the teak deck replacement that took place in 2000, and is signed by Roger Miller, the assistant director of Battleship North Carolina. So the, that's the COAs for these, you know, two pieces of uh, teak wood. And then I have one more, which is just rather unusual. And HMS Victory Pitch Pine. Now, Okay, it could be anything really. Then I have, again, this has been sat for ages. Um, probably, a, you know, as long if not um, around the same time. I hereby certify that this pine was salvaged, salvaged from HMS Victory during her restoration and a royalty uh, resulting from uh, its sale will go to the Save the uh, Victory Fund to assist her long-term preservation. And it's signed, there's details, uh, and has it's a certificate of province. So, uh, yeah, I'll be making a very special pen out of that. I'll be making two very special pens out of those. Uh, that might actually be a pair. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm still collecting, I'm still, buying. I'm still um, trying to do everything I really can at the same time, but I thought that the Victory in North Carolina would be some really cool pieces for those who are into some kind of, you know, military history as well um, that might enjoy it. Um, and it, anyone who buys any of the pens that I do uh, knows that, um, you only pay for the postage and then you pay in silver. So you would pay me, not necessarily this obviously, but any kind of milky or spotted or scratched, um, you know, three or four, nine uh, silver pieces that you have. Um, and there's varying things. I mean, all the terms and conditions are really on um, the uh, silver form website uh, where it's listed in the for sale section uh, This 50 caliber pen will be going on there later today this um, Blue uh, Which is dyed blue um, And it was It was a big failure uh, for most of the wood, but uh, this one here uh, which it's gun me uh, gun metal and uh, blue um was my only success so and it came out really nice i mean you get some lovely tiger marks on it and i think it's just uh, a fantastic pen 
makes a good gift. But uh, anyway, I do my plugging. Oh well, first time I guess. Uh, and I got to show off a few pieces. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've got through a few bits and bobs. Please like, comment, leave a, a remark below. If you're not a member of the Silver Forum, please, please, please join over. Uh, it's free to join. It's a great and fantastic uh, community over there. Um, and uh, I hope to speak to you guys soon. Thank you for watching.